taking care of the shoulders. So I don't know about you guys, but for me, I spent my early years playing baseball, basketball, pretty much doing everything out in front of me. After I was done with sports, I started bench pressing because I wanted to impress people, started doing a lot of bicep curls, and slowly over time, what I started to, to see was that my shoulders were becoming so imbalanced because everything I, I was doing was out in front of me. So one thing that I like to ask myself nowadays is how much is my arm moving behind me compared to how much is moving in front of me, right? And this is a good question to ask yourself because you need to do both to keep your shoulder really healthy, right? This has been an ongoing battle for me over the years and today I'm gonna to show you three exercises that you can do with a rubber band that really help the backside of the shoulder, the rotator cuff, the shoulder blade muscles, all these good things that really keep the shoulders nice and healthy. So let's hop into it. This first exercise that we're gonna do is a banded protraction, okay? So banded protraction, I want you to start with your band behind you, almost like a back squat, and then you're gonna extend your arms behind you like this. Now with the band, you can go as wide as you need to, right? So if you're really, really stiff, maybe you're not even pulled back very far. Maybe you're like this. But if you can, get your arms nice and wide behind you. Now from here, we're gonna squeeze and round the upper spine to get us into this nice protracted position. Now, we're gonna open up. The arms are gonna pull us back into retraction here. So notice, like we were talking about earlier, the arms are moving behind me in a nice way with this band pulling me into tension here. And now we squeeze again. Now, I really love this because we're getting good protraction here. We're not just dumping into like internal rotation of the shoulder. We're squeezing the serratus muscles, the chest, the shoulders, the, the core, and then we're pulled back here into extension. Straight elbows as much as you can is really gonna help get into those shoulder blade and rotator cuff muscles. Now we stay in a nice neutral rib cage, right? So you can do this standing up. I like to do it sitting down because it forces me to more stay here, right? We don't want this to happen, right? We're extending the spine here instead of getting a nice good stretch from the shoulder. Let's move on to number two which is a band pull apart. Maybe you've done these before. I'm gonna show you a way that I like to do them that really, really uh, helps open the shoulder more. So a lot of the time, people are really stiff in the chest, in the front of the shoulder, and we, we're, we're trying to stretch out all the time, open this up, but sometimes the best stretch is actually just strengthening that opposite side of the joint, right? That's gonna help us really, really open up, and usually a combination is gonna be best. So, band pull apart. Uh, one thing that I like to do is I start with the band in front of me and I start to make this type of tension on the bar. In like bench pressing or deadlifting, they call it breaking the bar apart. We're getting this nice external rotation force of the shoulder. And for my pull apart, I'm gonna pull the band until it hits me in the chest. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank even more into external rotation. And as you can see, my shoulder opens up more as I do that. So then I come back, let, the, let this pull me into protraction now, and then I pull the band apart till it hits me in the chest, and then crank there into external rotation. And you'll feel your chest really opening up and you'll feel all those muscles of the back of the shoulder and between the shoulder blades firing like crazy. Let's do one more, these feel so good. Pull apart. Now once again, keeping my rib cage neutral, right? We're not arching because then the spine's gonna be doing this motion. We want the shoulder to be doing this. Shoulder, shoulder blades. That's the key to shoulder health, longevity, performance, all of it. Okay, that's two. Third one, see this in general physical therapy all the time. And that's because it's a really good exercise. Like we've been talking about, so much internal rotation of the shoulder is what our the shoulder is used to. So we're gonna open up now and get better external rotation. So what's really, really important here is to not just go through the motions like this, okay? If I can pull my shoulder blade down and back, then I'm setting my shoulder in a position to really be able to use my external rotator muscles, those nice rotator cuff muscles, really well here, 
okay? And I can really feel them working and getting good contraction. If I do this, which I see some, which I see people do a lot of the time, this is not getting what I want out of this position because my shoulder is not in a good position, right? So big focus on, you can even, what I like to do is put my shoulder in a bad position so then I know to do the opposite, reverse that, pull back and down, and then, boom, can use those external rotators very, very nicely. Now, interesting thing about external rotation, what I said earlier about moving the arm behind you, well, external rotation isn't actually my arm going behind me, but the trajectory is there. If my arm had the capacity to, it would just keep on moving behind me, right? So keep that in mind, it's these, it's these movements that subtly, or not so subtly, take the trajectory of moving behind you that are going to help you balance that shoulder more. So that's the three exercises. Bonus, if you do a little hanging after that, let the shoulder blades drift up. Now we're getting a good natural stretch of the shoulders into elevation and then throw in a little active hanging as well or we pull those shoulder blades down, straight down, keeping that rib cage nice and tucked. That's gonna hit all our important shoulder blade movements. You're gonna strengthen those shoulders. This is something that um, you can use for a warm up before you do your upper body training. This is gonna act as rehab. If you have any lingering issues with the shoulder, this is great prehab. Put it in the schedule once or twice a week, maybe three times. See how your shoulders react, see how they feel. So I'd love to hear how this made your shoulders feel. Did you feel a little bit more opened up? Were you able to get that mind muscle connection to those muscles on the back side of the shoulder? Pop it in a comment below, like this video, subscribe to Strength Side, and, and like I mentioned earlier, a combination of strengthening the back side of the shoulder and stretching the front side is really, really important. So if you wanna see a video all about how to open up your shoulder through stretching, it's right here.